This is my 2005 Chevrolet Aveo. It has a broken door handle and I want to replace it with a 3D printed one. The handle's been broken since I bought the car. It's a used car, it's 10 years old. Um, and being Chevrolet in the Philippines, it's a little bit hard to get spare parts. Uh, this is how the door handle should look. And hopefully by the time I finish designing and printing, this is how the broken door handle will look. The first thing I had to do was remove the inside door panel to get access to the lock or the handle so I can remove it. You can see I've also got the fuse door removed uh, on the inside of the car but that's unrelated to this. So I've removed the door panel and now I'm just peeling back the, I'm not exactly sure what this is, some kind of um, wrap, but I'm just peeling it back enough to get access to the door handle inside. There's only two bolts holding the lock in place and then some plastic that you have to squeeze and of course you have to disconnect the actual metal rod but otherwise it's pretty simple to, to remove the handle. With the two bolts removed and the rod disconnected and the lock removed, it's pretty easy to remove the handle and in this close-up you can see the damaged portion. It's really just the lever section that pulls up. The rest of the handle is actually in pretty good condition. Um, I would say that perhaps someone's tried to remove the lock before because there are some scratch marks around the handle area. Also on the inside it appears that the door trim has also been removed before because there were some marks um, around certain areas where you try and pry pieces off so I'm sure some work's been done on this vehicle before. It's going to take me a while to finish this project so for now I've just boarded up the hole to make it a little bit more difficult for someone to break into the car. To be honest it would be pretty trivial to break in and open the door but it still has its alarm system and if someone wants to break into your car they're gonna break in anyway so there's only so much you can do. So I managed to get the door handle off without too much effort. Um, now you can see that it has been repaired before. Uh, I took the car in to someone, um, not Chevrolet, someone else, just a random shop. I uh, took it in for repair and while it was there for a different repair they said, oh we can fix a door handle for you. Um, basically this bit here had separated from the bit underneath and although it had been glued several times it would always just come off. So what they did was they installed this metal plate, you can see they screwed that in and then they used a couple of rivets on the front here. Now the problem is that the plastic just basically broke where the rivets are um, and that happened after maybe three weeks. Now looking at this, it looks like the only bit that I have to replace is this bit here um, which goes through here and then has this uh, clip here which connects to a rod inside which actually uh, pulls the rod and opens the door. So I don't have to reprint this whole thing. So I could design the whole thing and print the whole thing, but to be honest, what's the point? If this is the only bit that's broken, I might as well just reprint that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. It looks like I can just uh, pull this rod out with the spring. I'll probably, um, yeah, I was going to say I'll take some pictures beforehand, but there's no need because I can just review this video. So I'll, I'll take this off um, and then I'll try and design a replacement part. One thing I noticed is that the rod is actually crimped at the ends, so I can't get the rod out. So I'm actually going to have to use a hacksaw to cut away one end, and I'll probably have to find a replacement rod. Hopefully I can come up with some kind of replacement rod for this. So I've now managed to separate the part that's broken. Uh, this is the rod, of course, that goes through here and holds everything in place. And then the spring, uh, I probably won't be able to use this rod now that I've cut off one of the crimped ends. Um, but basically this is the part that I'm going to have to 3D model. Now I know some designers will be looking at this and thinking, oh that's easy, that won't be, that won't take long at all. Well, I'm not a professional designer so <laughs> don't expect this to be super easy for me. But um, yeah, that's the part that I have to model. Subscribe and come back soon for the second part of this video.